are doing, hope everyone is doing great. If you are new here, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you are also welcome. If you are yet to subscribe, please, please go ahead and subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. So today, I'm going to show you how to cut and sew a cold shoulder butterfly gown. So I'll be working with this lace fabric is three and a half yards. So the lace has a scallop. The upper and the lower part has a scallop, can you see? So I've gone ahead to fold the fabric into two, can you see? So I'm going to bring the lower scallop to meet the upper one this way, can you see? And I will fold, making it four folds now, can you see? So I'm going to bring the scallop to the side this way, can you see where the scallop is? Can you see and the top part is on fold can you see so this is how to fold if you are working with a lace fabric so after folding where i have my scallop becomes my side and here becomes the center front and the center back then the length is 60 inches remember i'm working with three and a half yards but if you are working with four yards you will have a longer length you have a length longer than 60 okay so the measurements i'll be working with are uh, bust is 44 inches the waist is a uh, 40 the half length is 18 inches the hip is 45 inches remember that i said that my length is 60. so i'll go ahead and mark my neckline so i'll take the measurements of this top part can you see so what I have here is uh, 26 inches, okay, so I'll, on that top part, I will take my neck measurements, which is uh, for the back is uh, three and a half by one inch, I'll mark. By one inch. So I'll connect my back neckline this way. Can you see? So for the front neckline, I'll be working with three and a half by three inches. So this is it. I'll mark the neckline for the front. Can you see? So I'm going to stop here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my vertical measurements. For the chest line, I'll come down by 11 inches and mark. At that point is where I will take my round bust. Like the round bust I'm working with is 45, is 44 inches, remember. So 44 divided by 4 will give me 11 inches plus 1 inch is will give me 12 inches. I will mark 12 inches. These are marking on the right side of the fabric because I will still cut that and I will be sewing on that right side. That's why I'm doing this, okay? So I'm going to take the half length, which is 18 inches, and I will mark. At that point, I will take my round waist. The round waist I'm working with uh, is a 40 inches divided by 4 will give me 10 inches plus 1 inch is will give me 11 inches I'll mark. So at that half length I'll take my hip depth which is 9 inches. At that point I'll take my round hip. The round hip I'm working with is 45 inches. 45 divided by 4 will give me 11 one quarter plus 1 inch is will give me 12 one quarter. I'll go ahead and mark 12 one quarter. So for the round hem, I'm going to be using 18 inches. You can as well add 5 inches to your hip and use that as your hem, uh, round hem. So I'll mark 18 inches. As my round hem. Can you see what I'm doing? Let me bring the fabric closer so you can see it. So I said that my round hem is 18 inches, so I'll go ahead and mark 18 inches. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to connect the points. So the bust to the waist, can you 
see waist to the hip and hip to the hemline Transfer this marking to the other side, so I'll know where to, where, where to sew when I'm sewing. Okay, so when I'm done doing that, I'll come and show you how to cut out your full shoulder. So I'm done transferring the markings to the other side. So the next thing I'm going to do is to turn, turn where I have my neckline mark. Can you see? So this is it. This is where I have my neckline. So, coming to the top part, you can see that the top part is unfold. I'm, going to, I'm not going to open up this top part, but when, if you fold and your top part is open, what you're going to do is, from the side here, you're going to come down by 1 inch or 1.5 and you connect to your neckline. You come down by 1 inch or 1.5 and from there you now connect to your neckline. So that by the time you close your shoulder line, it will sit properly or around your shoulder. But if you don't do that, you will notice that your shoulder line is going backwards. That is if your top part is open. But if your if your top part is on fold, just like mine, you don't need to do that because you're not going to open it. Okay? I hope I'm clear on that. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to mark my shoulder. So the shoulder I am working with is 16 inches divided by 2 will give me 8 inches. So I'll mark 8 inches here. Can you see? So this is my 8 inches. At that point, I'm going to mark 10 inches. And this is it. So this is the length of the cold shoulder. That is how much I want to open. How much open I want around the shoulder. Okay? So that's that. So what I'm going to do now is to get the midpoint of this point, the two points, I'm going to get the midpoint, which is at five. So I'll mark that point. So at that point, I'll go out by one inch. Can you see? So this is one inch. What I'm going to do is to connect this to this and this to this, this way, forming a, a, an oval shape. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? So I'll go ahead and cut the back neckline first. So this is the back neckline. you see then I'll cut the sh uh, cold shoulder I'm holding both the back and the front can you see See. So the next thing I'm going to do is to try and separate the back neck from the front neckline. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm trying to push the back neckline in so I can cut my front neckline. So I'm done doing that. So I'll go ahead and cut my front neckline. You see. Now I'll still go ahead and open the front neckline. If you look at the picture on the thumbnail, you see there is an opening at the center front. 
So I'll go from the neck uh, top here, from the neckline here, I'll go down by three inches and a mark. So that's how much I want the front to be open. Can you see? So I'll smash open and stop at the three inch inches. Can you see? So I'm done with the front. So I'm done with the front. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'll go back to my machine and I'll close the side where I have the markings. I'll sew on this line and I'll sew on the other line. Can you see? On the other side. So I'm going ahead to close the sides and hem the fold shoulder with the matching bias tape. Can you see? I also hand the, the the down parts, which I'm going to show you when I'm done sewing. So coming to the front neckline, I hem the center part, the front opening. Can you see? So because the front has an opening with a button, I'm going to be forming a button loop. So I'm going to take my bias tape and cut out two and a half two and a half inches long can you see so what i'm going to do next is to fold the bias this way can you see and i'll sew very close to the edge to form my loop So I'm going to fold into two this way to form my loop. Can you see? So coming to the neckline, the center front, I'm going to fix it this way. Can you see? I'll sew in by half inch. Can you see? Then I'll hem the neckline with the bias tape. So when I'm done doing this, I'll come and show you the finishing. So I'm done sewing as you can see. So this is my front neckline. You can see the opening of the front with the button and the loop. Can you see? So this is the full shoulder. Can you see? You can see I hem it with a bias tape. Can you see? Can you see? Here is the hemline. Here is the full length of the thumb. Can you see? So this is how the gown looks on the mannequin. So this is the cold shoulder. See the front neckline, the button and the loop. If you like what you're seeing, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.